Hi friends and welcome back to Rec at Home, brought to you by the Community Recreation Division of Arlington County Parks and Rec. I'm Miss Lizzie and today I'm going to show you how to make these very cool origami leaves. Alrighty, so let's move on to the materials. The very first thing you need is a square piece of paper. I have some yellow construction paper here because I would like to make a yellow leaf. Next I'm going to need my scissors for some cutting, my handy dandy glue stick for some gluing, and some scotch tape. Now let's remember our three rules for the project. Try your best. Remember, there's no perfect in making art. Be safe. Let's respect the materials and make sure that we're using them correctly. And be kind. Let's make sure our table's covered and ask for help when you need it. For our project today, I'm going to be showing you how to make a single one of these leaves with a loop. But I also wanted to show you an example of something I was able to do by making multiple leaves and having some yarn around. I strung them all up together through the loop and made this cool garland. So let's get started on learning how to make one of these leaves. To get started with this project, I'm going to want to start with my square piece of paper and my scissors. And the first move I'm going to make is just make a simple fold down the middle of my paper. I want to make sure these edges are lining up, so I want a very symmetrical sort of crease on my paper. Just like that. I'm going to press it down with my hand. And leave a nice smooth line. Next I'm going to want to make a diagonal cut so I want it to go like this. So what I'm going to do is give myself some guiding lines and I'm going to fold my piece of paper along this imaginary line so I'm going to make these two edges my, my point of reference. So I'm going to fold this to this edge and to this edge like that. So once I've pressed down my line, I'm going to unfold this, and there I have a little invisible line that I'm going to cut along with my scissors. I'll flatten this out so I can cut it easily, and just start cutting. No biggie if it's not perfect. This is going to give the leaf a little bit of shape. So I'm going to put my scissors away and unfold my piece of paper so I should have a big triangle. And so the main part of this project is we're gonna do an accordion fold all along this piece of paper to get our leaf shape. So I'm gonna start grabbing a little end over here, trying to keep it pretty even from both ends. So that means I want this to be almost as big as this. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Then I'm going to flip it and do the same thing and crease it over itself one more time. And do the same thing again. And I'm going to repeat the same step all the way to the tip of this piece of paper. And there we go, I've accordion folded my piece of paper. Now, if you guys started with a different size of square paper, it might be beneficial to use smaller accordion folds. I had a really big piece of paper, so my folds are pretty big and I only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish folds out of this. But different varieties will give you different sort of leaf designs, so no worries. Try experimenting with different size paper and different amounts of ridges. So for our next step, I'm going to add a little bit of glue to my edges here. So I have my handy dandy glue stick and I'm going to glue along these edges over here. I'm going to try to avoid the middle because what I'm trying to do is make that garland from the earlier example. So I don't want to close off that end there. So I'm going to apply some glue from right around there to the tip. Put my glue away. And then just fold it in half. Have those edges meet and then I'm going to squish this down. Because I'm working with glue, I want to hold it for a little bit so I'm very sure that it's nice and stuck together. I might even go in there and press it together with my fingers.
So once you're super sure your glue is dry, you can take your leaf and start spreading out these folds. You have a nice leaf design there. And the little hole I left down here, I'm just gonna make sure it's still there. Yep, there it is. I'm going to thread a little bit of the paper that we cut off earlier, just so I have a little stem there. So here I have the scrap from before. I'm just gonna cut off a little bit of this so I can make a little paper stem. Just need this much. Make it a little more even. I'm just gonna roll this up with a couple of folds like this. There we go. Cut off some excess and now I can turn this into like a little bit of a ring. I'm just folding it around my fingertips. And I want to make sure that fits around here. So I'm going to put it through my leaf, threading it through the hole we left there. Awesome. Perfect. So that is a good match. I'm going to put a little bit of tape here to secure it. I'm grabbing my tape. And I'm gonna grab both of these ends, bring them together, and put this tape right on here. And one more for security. Awesome, and just like that, we have our very own origami leaf. You guys can definitely try this project out in multiple colors. I'd recommend some reds, oranges, and greens just to fill out the kind of spectrum that leaves come in. You're also welcome to try different papers. Origami and printer papers are very easy to work with just because they're so thin and easy to fold. I used a construction paper, which was also great. Anything a little tougher than that might be also a little tougher to fold, but definitely worth a shot. Alrighty, kids. I'm glad you got to join me on this project. I hope to see you next time. Bye!